So guys, Xiaomi Mi A series is known for their cameras. And right now I'm shooting this video with the front facing camera of the Xiaomi Mi A3. So hey, what's up guys, my name is Zaheer and today I am doing a full camera review of the Xiaomi Mi A3. So let's begin. So guys, let me quickly tell you the specification of the cameras, then I will show you some samples and tell you my experience using it. On the back, it has triple camera. Primary sensor is obviously the 48 megapixel IMX586 sensor, which has the aperture of f1.8 and by the way, it's a half inch sensor. So it's actually a very, very good sensor. Then we have a 8 megapixel wide angle lens with the aperture of f2.2 and then we have 2 megapixel depth sensor and that has aperture of f2.4. Now let's see some of the samples that I have took with this phone. So first of all, these are the samples which I've took in the daylighting situation. And as you see, guys, they turned out to be really, really good. I mean, especially if you consider the price and it's a MIA series phone. By the way, I have took all these photos in the stock camera that Xiaomi has provided in the Xiaomi Mi 3 The dynamic range, colors, saturation, everything is amazing. And then we have this 48 megapixel mode. By default, you can take 12 megapixel pictures. Basically, they can combine four pixel into one and give you 12 megapixel pictures picture but you have a dedicated 48 megapixel mode and as you see guys it has a mind-blowing details as you see after zooming in for 700 percent as you see that 48 megapixel kept a lot of details dynamic range could be a little bit better but as per 13,000 rupees price range it's pretty fantastic this is one of the best camera that i have used in this price category now guys it has a wide angle lens too and as you see these are some of the wide angle photos that i've took with this phone and a very awesome picture you can take guys of course the wide angle sensor is not as good as primary sensor but you can get some very awesome pictures with the wide angle camera too and then moving to the portrait mode you can take a uh, good quality portrait pictures over here sometime i feel that in the portrait mode the dynamic range is not that good the edge detection is good enough and the portrait mode works on animals too then moving to some indoor lighting situation as you see these are some of the pictures which i have took in the indoor and the quality is just mind blowing in the indoor lighting situation too wow just amazing guys look at the details dynamic range it's good it's great actually now moving to the low lighting situation here also it performs really really good and after even that they have given this night mode like seriously what a brilliant thing it is it's amazing guys i'm impressed with the rear camera performance in terms of the photos department now moving to the videos department guys it can shoot 4k 30 fps video and this is a sample of it i think that the dynamic range is not that good as compared to realme 3 pro but other than that the quality is pretty fantastic and there is no eis in the 4k and it can shoot 1080p 60 fps video and i guess there is no eis in 60 fps too but when we move to 1080p 30 fps eis kicks in and the eis is pretty great but i feel that the auto focusing is not that good basically it is running on contrast based auto focusing system so i don't feel that it's a good auto focusing system but the stabilization is great the dynamic range could be a little bit better but yeah the video quality is pretty fantastic as of now and it can shoot 120 fps video in 1080p and also 240 fps video in 720p and the quality of those videos are pretty awesome now moving to the front facing camera as you see hardware wise it has a 32 megapixel front facing camera with the aperture of f2.0 and looking at the samples as you see the photos comes out to be really really nice very good details the skin tones are good i mean it's not the best that i have seen but very very nice and you can take portrait pictures from the front facing camera as you see there are some minor blemishes that i've seen especially in the hairs and the overall pictures from the front facing camera works pretty great and moving to the indoor lighting situation of course that dynamic range is not that great here as you see these are some of the pictures which i have took in the low lighting situation and it works pretty good i'm impressed with the front facing camera too so especially if you consider the price range one of the best cameras that it offers and it can also shoot 1080p videos from the front facing camera except the dynamic range everything is pretty great wow impressive in terms of my conclusion i'm super impressed with the cameras that xiaomi has provided in this phone the software could be better the processing is not that good but i will try google camera and let's see how's the processing of that camera and i will compare it with the stock camera so stay tuned for that video so yeah that's all in this video guys i hope you do found this video helpful if it did hit that like button share this video with your friends who are looking to buy this device or any other device in this price category thank you so much for watching this video guys bye bye